हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास और ओरल्स मरीन हब यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज आस्क्ड इन एमएमडी ओरल्स रिगार्डिंग द जनरेटर सेफ्टीज एंड मेंटेनेंस एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी कंटेनिंग द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू बी टोल्ड बिफोर द सर्वियर्स इन एमएमडी ओरल्स सो प्लीज डू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन अवर अदर वीडियोज so let's start first we'll list out the generator safeties the first generator safety is reverse power trip under voltage trip over voltage trip preferential trip space heater over frequency trip under frequency trip the earth fault winding high temperature fault and the differential relay there are more other safeties also but we have enlisted these 10 generator safeties so let's proceed further towards the maintenance part but before we go to the actual maintenance for the alternator we will discuss the all safety procedures and these are the most important points which surveyor is always looking for uh, from any candidate before he proceeds directly to the maintenance so do not ignore the safety procedures which is enlisted now the first point is always inform and ask for the permission of chief engineer without any information or without any permission please do not proceed for the maintenance second inform the duty engineer and the bridge officer why just in case if they want any other equipment heavy equipment which requires more generators so they will be already know uh, knowing that uh, okay right now the maintenance is going on so we are not going to uh, request for any heavy equipment usage third the risk assessment to be carried out and has to be reviewed by the competent person fourth the toolbox meeting should be carried out before proceeding for the maintenance next the permit to work should be filled the permit to work is an official document which has to be filled and it is a permit which is to be duly signed by the responsible person next the isolation permit isolation permit is here is the electrical isolation permit and it includes the lockout and tagout procedures that is we have to isolate the equipment mechanically and also electrically and we should have the spare parts on board in sufficient quantity if the major overall is to be carried out on the alternator now the maintenance the first point we will check in the maintenance is we have to check the condition of the windings second we should see if there is any black spot or dust spot on the broken strands of the winding if you find any we should not use any other uh, uh, cleaning material like uh, we should always prefer the vacuum cleaner to clean the dust and foreign particles why because vacuum cleaner will try to absorb all the dust accumulated and the blower in other side will uh, will uh, blow the uh, dust all over so prefer the vacuum cleaner or a lint free cloth to clean the windings and if you see any oil stress on the winding and uh, on the internals of the alternator always prefer and use the electro cleaner as you can see in the uh, animation on the windings try to spray the electro cleaner the crc and try to clean with the lint free cloth make sure the air passage is clear because the alternator over the time gets heated up and for proper ventilation and the cooling of the alternator we should make the air passage to be clear measure the air gap by using the plastic feeler gauge you can see here on the right this is a plastic feeler gauge measuring the air gap is a very very important question which is asked in mmd oral 
and uh, I have made one another video on the generator air gap that why we require what would happen if the generator air gap is less what would happen if it is more and how to measure the generator air gap so I have made this video and uh, why should we use the plastic filler gauge and not the metallic filler gauge all those description has been uh, I have explained in this video so the link of this video is in the description of this video you can also watch the generator air gap measurement moving further check the condition of the rotating parts that is diodes condition so we should see whether diodes are burnt or in a bad state or what these are very important rotating parts mounted on the alternator apart from this please check the surge suppressor condition the surge suppressor is shown in this uh, photo that is a blue colored surge suppressor next we should measure the insulation resistance which is very important the IR value minimum 1 mega ohms I have made one more video on the insulation resistance mm -hmm. measurement and the proper concept in another video you can also check the video link in the description of this video make sure while measuring the IR test always isolate the AVR and also short the diodes because there are chances that if reverse power happens diode can burn in reverse power that's why isolate the AVR and also short the diodes lastly we should see the terminal box we should see the tightness of the terminal box and connections check for the oxidation or any foreign particles feather rust check the bearing oil condition on the alternator it should be clear there should not be any foreign traces the space heater should be working good try to uh, press the button and check whether the heating of the cabinet and the terminal box is there or not and check all the covers are closed all the tightness and the screws and everything is there so after every check is done every maintenance is done then keep the all the cover closed run the equipment and monitor if the alternate is working satisfactorily then hand over to the user and finally do not forget to close the permit and file the permit in the folder so all these steps are very much important while carrying out the maintenance on the alternator and you have to explain to the surveyor in ORAS in this fashion only first tell the safety risk assessments permits toolbox meeting then proceed for the maintenance part so I hope guys you have well understood the alternator maintenance and the safeties so we'll see and we'll meet in the next video thank you take care bon voyage